Hello, y'all on YouTube. This is Rob with Rob's Nerdy Knives. Today, I have a very uh, interesting kind of a adjustment, if you will, swapping out of uh, skiff washers um, on the Wii Knives Evoke. This is the Ray Laconico design, uh, made by Ray Laconico. Usually, he has his name on here. If not on the spine, he'll have it off to the side like this. And uh, this is brand new. Came in a little tight, so we're going to go ahead and maybe clean it out and uh, go ahead and uh, see if we can put in some skiff washers. I had some extra ones here that were in another knife. They're skiffs that uh, I took out of a knife that I ended up selling um, and probably didn't need to put them in there, So, but I did, so I'm gonna take them out. So let's get, let's get into this. All right, so we're just gonna confirm. I think a lot of our things here are T8s. Yeah, T8s. Yeah, everything's T8, so we'll go ahead and Start doing that. The first thing we'll do is we'll take out, this is part of the backspacer, so we'll need to remove that. All right, so it's so in there a little tight, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the stubby wee one because I get a little better leverage here. Let me get my cleaning cloth real quick. Doesn't look like it's real dirty or anything, so that's good. All right, so that over lock bar is pretty far in there, I would say. Probably might adjust that just a little bit. When it's in like that, it's going to be more... Yeah, we can definitely do a little adjustment on that. Let's look at these washers, see how dirty they are. So these were in my smock that I had and I took them out because yeah they really didn't benefit it much too too much and figured I'd put them over here so just make sure they're clean. Now you can see that it did get oxidized a little bit which is fine that happens. Alright so that's the captive part on a on a Wii knife. You'll see there's a little spot right there and a little clip and that that's what keeps it from spinning and it makes a really nice flush fit and then we're going to look at where the washers which is the polished side so I'll put these back like that before I put those on and look at these as well all right so we'll put that over there so let's get the oil, we'll just do a little, little dab of oil, put these over here, get the old washers out of the way. All right, so now we're gonna put our stop pin, our blade stop pin. Can we see that? Make sure I've got it in, in, in view here. So that's a blade stop pin. I'll probably need to bring that up a little bit so you guys can see a little better. Might have been doing that out of screen. If I have, I apologize. Now, 
that's important to have in there. So now let's go ahead and put our little stops in here. And this is our lanyard loop right here. And then this fits on top of that. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and adjust this just a little bit. In order to adjust it, I need to take off this part. So we're going to tune the detent just ever so slightly. Typically, that means this will need to come off. Sometimes these are a little, a little tight on there. Alright, so I need a little screwdriver tool and I have one for that, so give me just a second. Oh. It's always a delicate process, right, when you do this. Sometimes these fit in so tightly. I'm going to wipe the oil that I just put in there off. Alright, so what we want to do, see how far this is. I want to make sure we just bring that back a little bit. So I like to measure that. Oh, that might be just perfect. Don't want to do too much. I always like to do just a little. A less is better, in my personal opinion. Already has a little Loctite on there, so I'm not going to worry about that. All right, let's do a little bit of oil again. Okay, and then I'm going to put my heavyweight oil. This is Nano Oil 85 weight. I'm almost out here, but I wanted to use the very last bit of this before I use my new bottle. You can also use KPL 70. They're heavy. That's 70 weight. Now we're just going to bring all the pieces back together. Now one thing I do try to do use a little bit of Loctite. Use 242. I tap it so it doesn't pour out because sometimes it does. So we'll tighten that up in a second. Okay, I want to make sure I have the right screws. Are these the short ones? I know the long one over here goes in. It's already got some Loctite on it. Okay, let's see if we've got this close. Make sure it's not too tight. All right, I think we're done. All right, so basically we tuned it a little bit. Everything's good to go. All right, so I'm back. 
so real quick so that was it all we did was we placed out the washers we lightened up a little bit we brought it back together put the skiff washers in there it's much smoother i think it's much better dead center still so that's perfect front flipping is really nice everything is great we're going to let that sit because you want to make sure that loctite really locks it in place so that it there's no blade rock so we're going to let that sit for just a little bit so i'm going to put that down right here and we are done so hey um if you guys have any questions about this please let me know about my my tunings if you have any questions about what i do or or how i do it and, and things like that you know feel free to comment down below hey if you found this uh if you found this video um fun interesting worthwhile or entertaining or informative would you consider hitting the like button down below and if you've hit that like button would you consider hitting the subscribe button subscribing and liking the videos really helps out the channel allows me to grow be able to produce more content do more things and i appreciate that um and then we can do more things for you guys right so uh that would be awesome and if you've done all of that maybe consider hitting that notification button so you can be notified of future content and if you've done that then maybe check me out, out over on instagram at robs underscore nerdy underscore knives again that's on instagram at robs underscore nerdy underscore knives hey thanks so much for watching today have a great day and a great week bye